So we're looking here at my Cave of the Dead Karens synth. This is the second one I've shown to people. And this is the full synth based on just shy of 1,000 photographs I took in Canyonlands National Park in Utah. Now, as you can tell, as this is loading up, the density of the point cloud is, is really, really good uh, because of essentially how I shot it, knowing that I would want to use it for a photosynth and also the largeness of the area. This is like a stretch of, I would say, first a tunnel that goes for 500 yards to the place, which is what you're kind of looking down now. So this area here is a tunnel. And then it opens up into a large cave area, which we're seeing here, which is probably uh, 200 yards or something like that. Pretty huge cave and full of these cairns that are small rock piles. Now you can travel down the tunnel as you're seeing me do so here, and you can end up over here. Now, actually, now, <laughs> so this is not what I was seeing. In fact, this is the large open area. Very interesting. See, now that I move into it, I immediately know where I am. This is on the, ah, uh, of course, of course. This is actually in the cave, looking at from the wrong size. This is the. It's all in an area called the Joint Trail in Canyonlands National Park, right outside of Chesler Park. And what you're seeing here is the far side of it. The other side is way over to the left. Uh, you can't see the mouse, I guess. but And this opens up. So right now we're facing, I would think, due, uh, due east. And behind me is this is... Maybe it's might be north, south. Anyways, I don't know my direction. I should always use a compass in my sense. <laughs> but you can see that it's the incredible complexity here of this synth. I mean, <laughs> it's actually insane. You, know, you find an object here. These are all these cairns. That's a little far away. But you can see the detail on these rocks is incredible. And and it's on the rock walls. This is like, um, I would argue, is probably the best synth that I've had the pleasure of exploring as a point cloud. You essentially have a true three-dimensional representation of this area. Um, but it takes a lot of photographs. So, okay, right, this is from the bottom. So that's the cave there, interesting. And then... Over on that side to the left is that long walk to it, which we're going to try to explore now. Interestingly, that, that walk to it, I, it was only one photo a piece, but even that is really, really dense. Whereas there's, there's like a thousand, there's like, I would say there's 800 photos in here, or 900, or like 800. And then there's like 50 photos going out this way. But even out here, the density of the point cloud remains really high. It's hard to walk over there because I'm facing the wrong way. Because I only have photos facing this way. I knew it was going to be too big. <laughs> so you can back down this cave in theory. Yeah. That is really something right there. I mean, we could pause a second to see if there's more points, but it's not that many. But essentially, we're experiencing, I don't know, that's like a mile. No, maybe not that far, but that's a long distance. A long, long distance. And then you're back inside. And you can see how you're going to soon have a completely digital world if you want it. I think it just will require um, a huge jump in the quality of both the software and the user friendliness of it. Right now the stuff is sort of incipient. As I'm just getting started. Look at how different these are. This one, of course, made with a large one pillar and then a small pile on top. <laughs> I mean, it just all stands out. And if I recall, as we get further down here, I went here this this last March. But one of these has a. Here it is, maybe? Yeah. I mean. And it goes down to every small detail. And you can see the different color of the rock or the different lighting over here. This is a, a much whiter light because it's only lit by a little slit up above here. Whereas 
back there there's an open area. Yeah. In any case, this is this, I would consider this as my best point cloud. Mainly because it was just before I gave up making them. <laughs> uh, because I felt that the industry was going nowhere. And six months later, it's it has a lot more potential. What is this for spin? Oh, neat. So it even has the top, has a true 3D object, because you can spin around the top. I mean, that's just really, really good <laughs> to even concentrate on this area. And you can still spin from up there. It's such a good point cloud. Only like a thousand photographs, that's all it takes. Look at this this particular table with all these. I mean, wow. That's really something. Zoom in a little bit. Oh, I lost my thing. Oh, and, and on each of them, of course. I mean, it's just a true 3D world made of point clouds. <laughs> and it's just a matter of combining all these together into a mesh and doing whatever magic <laughs> happens there and having the processing power for it is the real thing and the software that would allow me to make something so big and the hardware to run it I feel like I'm Archimedes here asking for a place to stand <laughs> All I need is a place to stand, and I will move the world. Uh, give me but a place to stand, is the quote. And I will move the world. Yeah. Anyway, it's something beautiful about this. Whereas I'm not, I'm in New Hampshire right now. I'm not even anywhere close to Utah. And yet it's like I'm there right now. This is how good this is. And it's in this moment, too. You know, if I had this in a different, if there was, I don't know, the possibilities are just endless in my opinion. Because things cannot be captured like this right now. Except by me. Oh, and finally you can see it's made up of actual photographs. Which, this actually looks really good. When you let the point cloud load. This is how I might start viewing these from this point forward. Not too distracting. <laughs> Backing down this tunnel. See how far back does it go? It goes back. See, it doesn't actually get that narrow. I think this goes back another few hundred feet. And I might have to re-synth it. <laughs> Very interesting. Alright, I'll leave you there.